before thomas alva edison invented the light everyone in this world were almost night blind this is ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners today we are going to discuss about an important short case but nowadays it is very very rare in the video you just saw you must be able to appreciate a triangular patch which is very very unique in the bulbar conjunctiva very close to the cornea which is having its base towards the cornea and the apex towards the canthus it is most often seen on the temporal bulbar conjunctiva this appears somewhat shiny and foamy this triangular patch this is called as bite hot spots this is actually due to vitamin a deficiency vitamin a is very very important for the normal functioning of the epithelium epithelium is present in almost all parts of our body whenever there is a vitamin a deficiency you have the disease in the eye called as xerophthalmia vitamin a deficiency can manifest as steatorrhea or fatty diarrhea you can have dry scaly skin that is called as phrenoderma there are so many manifestations of vitamin a deficiency in the body in case of vitamin a deficiency the epithelium of the conjunctiva undergoes a metaplasia followed by entangling of keratin along with the bacteria that is the corny bacterium xerosis this corny bacterium xerosis forms gas that gas leads to a foamy appearance in the conjunctiva so this is what is about by dot spots the two most important cells affected in the eye are goblet cells and the rods in the retina the goblet cells they secrete the mucin the mucin is very very important to keep the eye wet it holds the aqueous secretion by the lacrimal gland and sebaceous secretion by the meibomian gland to wet the cornea and prevents drying of the eye in case of vitamin a deficiency this goblet cells they do not function properly so the mucin secretion is affected and the tear film is also affected and that leads to dryness of the eyes this is the who's classification of vitamin a deficiency in the eye this is what we call it as xerophthalmia x n is night blindness x1 a is congenital dryness or xerosis x1 b is bite hot spots x2 is corneal dryness or xerosis x3a is corneal ulcer less than 1/3 of the cornea x3b is corneal ulcer more than 1/3 of the cornea if the corneal ulcer goes for healing then that will lead to x 
yes that is corneal scarring the next important cell that is affected in the eye is the photoreceptor cell that is the rods the rods need vitamin a for its function and when the light falls on the rod the vitamin a is very very important in giving us the vision that too particularly during the night time that is the night vision in case of vitamin a deficiency the rods will not function properly leading to night blindness if it is there for a very long time what happens is the rods will be very much affected and it may not sometime recover or it may take it take a long time to recover even if you administer vitamin a to the patient as treatment so that is called as xerophthalmic fundus the normal daily requirement of vitamin a for the normal functioning of our body is for adults it is 800 micrograms for child it is 400 micrograms for a pregnant or lactating woman because the woman is adult with a child so we add these together so that is 1200 micrograms per day sometimes they may ask this in international units you have to just multiply the micrograms by 3 approximately so that will give the international units that is 800 into 3 2400 400 into 3 1200 and pregnant females that is 1200 into 3 3600 this is an approximate conversion okay easy to remember vitamin a deficiency is caused by two reasons one is malnutrition or it may be due to gat diseases malnutrition is poor diet alcoholism dysphagia not able to take food gat diseases it may be disease of the liver it may be disease of the pancreas it may be disease of the intestine so any disease there or there is a chronic diarrhea all these things can affect the absorption of vitamin a taken inside whenever we come across a vitamin a deficiency manifestation the treatment is 2 lakhs international units of vitamin a given orally on the day 1 day 2 and day 14 if the person who is suffering from vitamin a deficiency is not able to take oral dose then we can give it intramuscularly half the dose that is 1 lakh international units whenever we treat a patient with vitamin a we have to add zinc in the therapy zinc is very very essential for absorption of vitamin a and for the normal conversion of vitamin a in the body in developing countries where we expect a lot of vitamin a deficiency diseases vitamin a prophylaxis is being followed what is this prophylaxis between 0 to 5 months of age 50000 international units orally or if it is intramuscular it is 25000 international units between 6 months to 11 months of age that is 1 lakh international units or if it is intramuscular it is 50000 international units between 1 year to 5 years of age every 6 months we have to give 2 lakhs international units orally or 1 lakh international units intramuscularly bite out spots will be definitely kept in the examination commonest question asked by the examiner is which is the first symptom of vitamin a deficiency in the eye 
that is night blindness. The first sign is conjunctival dryness or xerosis. The next commonest question examiner can ask is what are the differential diagnosis for vitamin A deficiency or night blindness? Retinitis pigmentosa. This is the dystrophy of the rods. Rod cone dystrophy. High myopia. Uniform cataract. Thank you.